Hi, I'm Darren at Go Engineer. Over the years, you've seen me do a lot of things in SolidWorks. And this time, I'm about to remove the center of my house. And I wouldn't trust this project to anything else. In September of last year, we woke to a fridge full of warm food. And you know what you have to do when your fridge dies? Well, of course, remodel the entire first floor. On this one, my wife and I are on the same page because we've been wanting to do this since before kids. So it's time. Now, a kitchen remodel isn't cheap, but we're going to save a ton doing it ourselves. Even so, we're looking for other places to save, and we found it. We took a huge risk and went out and bought secondhand cabinets designed specifically for another space. But 22 cabinets for 1500 bucks? I'm gonna make them work. Now the only way I can test dozens of different configurations, accurately and quickly, is to take some time and model them up in SOLIDWORKS. Nothing tricky here. You simply have to choose the level of detail you need to feel comfortable. For me, I'm using simple, multi-body parts and capturing most of the detail. My end goal may include some renderings. Of course, this isn't my first rodeo, so I had an existing floor plan already modeled. What all of this does allow me to do is shake down which cabinets are even viable, and then get a few ideas I can present to my wife. It becomes crystal clear which layout is best. A design that includes a huge island, our dream feature. So here's the plan in SolidWorks Composer. We'll remove the soffits and drywall, as well as the bridge to nowhere, but we'll leave some studs for now. We'll put the first column in to support the main roof, followed by the beam, and two more columns with notches. Then we have room to put all the cabinets, the stove, and the fridge in, and hopefully everything stacks up great. Once the island is finally set, it'll be time for countertops. These were 200 pounds each, and with the help of my wife, we knocked them out with confidence. Now it's really starting to feel open. Two weeks later, our due diligence paid off with an eighth of an inch clearance between the final cabinet and the post. I'll take it. With the cabinets finally in, we were able to get just enough flooring installed to put up our Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. It was a holiday miracle. And after a very short break, we pressed on. One of the last and most visible details took me another month to ideate because of its importance. And that's the main lighting fixture over the island. A traditional large chandelier type fixture just wasn't what our space needed. But it still needed to have an impact. It was on a trip to Mexico that it came to me. We saw an amazing fixture at a club that was really just hundreds of small fixtures. Now we didn't need hundreds, but a few would look great. My wife remembered a beautiful pendant fixture that had the right color she liked and we knew what to do. We wanted to create a layout that was purposefully random, and I didn't want to leave something this critical to a game time decision. We needed to see it first. Once again, SolidWorks was going to give us the confidence to move forward. The plan is to hang each pendant in a different location from 4x4 cedar extending out from our flat wall. I wanted to hide the cords in a channel, and we needed to make sure we had enough length for each instance. And a quick mock-up in SolidWorks will leave us with no doubt. Here I used some simple equations in SolidWorks to divide the 5-foot cord in two sections for a circular sweep. This allowed me to fine-tune the position with instant 3D and know that I had enough cord to reach my electrical junctions inside the wall. Now we decided on a cluster of five lights, so I'll make a configuration for each. Now remember, if you want the dimension to be different in each configuration, you just set that by double-clicking the dimension and choosing this configuration. Each instance can now have unique values inside the top-level assembly. 
we instantly knew we had exactly what we were looking for. A day's labor of love later, and the vision was a reality. And it was better than expected. Transforming the humble pendant into something custom and special. And they look amazing, night or day. And there were so many other details we had at our fingertips. Things like knowing how much our countertops were gonna cost, or a trick I particularly love, using a sketch to figure out what the tile layout on the wall is gonna look like. Everything letting us make decisions with confidence. So like I said in the beginning, when I want great results with a project, there's no other tool I'll trust but SolidWorks. Nothing gives me greater pride than when I can take a vision in my head and turn it into something amazing. I hope you feel the same way too. I'm Darren at Go Engineer. See you on my next project.